Hello, um, today getting um, exciting news. So Bitwig 4 is on the doorstep now in beta version. <clears throat> and I just wanted to show you some, some new features. Um, there is comping now, which is quite nice. Um, you can use it as it's normally used to be. Or you can also um, use that features for making cool loops. For example, now if I go and make this Audi event and then go on comping, you have the takes here. So <clears throat> I can just drag and drop um, files here, whatever I want, and then I can choose whatever I like for being inside the loop and um, create some funny rhythms. Stuff like this. So it, <clears throat> it's really easy. It's very, um, very nice also with the colors. So every take gets a new color. So it's, um, it's easy to see what's going on. And uh, this is one feature I was looking forward well, for a long time. So nice they did it. And the other one is is quite cool. If if you guys know the electron um, sequencer from like Octatrack and Digitect and model samples and stuff, there is a function now. Let's take take a hi hat. And then I make a clip. Copy that. So, very boring hi-hat loop. But now you have a thing called operators. So you could kind of notice this one. You can decide if there's a probability to play the notes. So if I go down with this one, Ah, oh, sorry, because I selected notes, um, this probability is only for the selected notes. So I would take all the loops and then go down to 50. Then you have a probability of 58 now for playing the hi-hats or not. Or I can take a note and repeat it on itself. So you can do like ratchets. And maybe I should take this note and put it on 100% so it plays every time. And then I can shift the timing as well. And you can also with this one, it, that this one is the recurrence um, operator, which says how um, how this note is gonna play in the loop if it's um, if it's playing every time or <clears throat> uh, stuff like this. So it's kind of familiar with the electron sequencer which is very flexible and you can do a lot of uh, different variations without ch and, and changing the, the pattern so <clears throat> this one this function is uh, quite amazing and um, i will do another video with more details like s specific um, functions now in the version 4 but I'm excited. I just downloaded it, so I have to try it out by myself and then I can show you some stuff. So, um, see you next time. Bye bye.